The North Central College men's wrestling team took another step up this year, literally, as they improved from a program best fifth place finish at Nationals last year to fourth in 2023. They also won the CCIW tournament for the first time since 2019. The high note of the season was undoubtedly senior Robbie Preeson winning a second consecutive national championship at 133 pounds, the first Cardinal wrestler to win multiple NCAA titles. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't really know how it feels other than just great. Like, I don't know uh, really how else to say. I mean, I'm just, it's a surreal thing to think about. And, uh, you know, I think this year was a lot less pressure than last year, um, you know, because I always wanted to be on top of the podium uh, for my whole wrestling career. And when I did it last year, like, I finally did it. And, you know, when people say, like, defending a title, I don't necessarily think that's a thing when it comes to the wrestling, because no one's going to take it away from me. Um, you know, I got my national title last year. I'll always be a national champion and now it's almost like I kind of thought of it as a bonus um, so that's why I didn't have as much pressure. I was so excited, uh, was so proud of him and just this year was a, a step up from last year's championship and he just really expected to go out and dominate and that's what he did you know, from scoring bonus points in the national tournament in the first few rounds you know to really it, it wasn't close um, his last two matches but he's really been the standard of this program uh, for the last four years and and you know taking us from where we were when I first got here to where we're at now and bringing home trophies and competing for titles and and you know been a living example like hey I, I've done this and so can you and so it's just giving the guys even more confidence like hey I'm doing this why, why not you the Cardinals sent a total of six wrestlers to nationals with two additional All-Americans along with Preeson. Sophomore Javan Estrada, who finished as runner-up at 149 pounds, and freshman Christian Guzman, who finished third at 125 pounds. It was on my mind, but I tried as much not to think about it and just keep going forward one match at a time, but it was definitely in the back of my head, just like one step closer, but tried not to focus on it too much. It was more for me just finishing it off because I had a great first half freshman year and second half kind of just went out the water. So me this year, it was more focused on whatever happens during the season it doesn't really matter and just one thing matters at the end. Just keep trying to get better for that one point no matter what. I mean, it's pretty cool, but my high school team wasn't very that good, so we didn't really get like any top in the state or anything. So being a part of a program that's top four in the nation is kind of cool. But yeah, being a freshman, getting third, I mean, I'm very hard on myself, so third's okay, but now next year I'm getting ready for the win, the win the thing. In addition to new, younger wrestlers rising to the top of their ranks, the team also had a shift in leadership, as Zach Cook, who previously served as an assistant to Joe Norton for both the men's and women's teams, was named men's head coach ahead of the season. It might not have been a big change for the wrestlers, but both they and Norton knew he was up for the job. He brought the idea to me, and I was kind of like, man, are you sure you want to do this? And he was adamant I'm like yep this is what needs to happen and so it's like all right man if you're if this is what you want so i was excited about the opportunity and uh, you know both programs are fun to work with um, but just really excited with you know taking this men's team and building on what you know had already been accomplished at least the last three years i'd been here and a part of it so i was really excited about the opportunity i think he deserves to be head coach i mean nothing there's nothing bad to say about that guy. I mean, I love Zach. I mean, he's a great coach. I couldn't have asked for a better group of guys. Uh, Joe and Cook, I think just them together, uh, just great. They make wrestling fun. I loved wrestling even more when I came here. All the coaches are pretty consistent on a daily basis, so not much change besides the title, but he's such a great coach, such a great guy that every workout and every day with them is just, it's so, you know what to expect. The one thing about North Central is the coaches always kept in contact with me. And the personality that they have, Joe and Cook, they're both very like, uh, they're kind of out there extroverts. So um, when I came on my visit, I kind of fell in love with the environment and you know, it kind of just like drug me in here. It was kind of cool. Preason aside, the team's roster is remarkably young and set up for success going forward. Thus, in addition to pursuing another title, Preason knew how valuable he was as a leader to help those underclassmen see that they can achieve the same things he has. I just really want to show how or what hard work is like. 
um, I wanted to push myself even more just to just prove to know what it takes to become a national champion. You know, I want to influence a lot of these younger guys and I want them to win a national title as a team, not just as a team, but also individuals. So um, I, I want to keep that legacy going and uh, I just want them to keep that in mind. The way I think about it is uh, some people have like the mentality that freshmen are just here like to like get better their first year, but I kind of came expecting that I want to win. So that was the main thing with me. And I saw like other freshmen last year that were on the starting lineup. So I was like, why not me? Why can't it be me? Trying to reach them all individually is something I love about this job, but it's very challenging. And uh, we'll stay up too late in the night thinking about how I can reach one kid or how I can make one kid better. Um, that makes the overall program better. And that could be the, you know, from Robbie Preeson all the way down to maybe the worst guy on our team. How are we gonna get all those guys better that's gonna make this program overall better? So it's very challenging, but I love that aspect of, of coaching this team in college wrestling. A team national championship remains the ultimate goal for this team, and they feel they're on the path to making it happen. With every new success, whether a teammate winning an individual national championship or younger wrestlers becoming All-Americans for the first time, there is growing confidence that together, they can achieve anything. I think they just believed it. Um, it's something we talked about, but now they like truly believe it, and that's the expectation is, you know, I'm trying to win an individual title. This team's trying to win a, a, an overall national championship. And it's not so much as hope anymore, but true belief that, hey, I, I'm going to do this. Everybody wants to say it, but then to actually go out there and do it um, under the lights, you know, when the pressure moments are on, that's something that I think that we're there now and now it's going to continue to bring in motivated guys like that and develop guys um, on, this, on this team and in this program to, to go out and, and win individual championships for themselves. National titles obviously just thinking about it since the day we got back just trying to figure out how we could all get better every day throughout these points of the season where we don't necessarily have to be in the room every day and just coming together as a team and focusing on one goal because Robbie's a huge part of our team so we got a lot of young guys with a pretty deep roster, so just next guy up figuring it out, like, it's our time, I feel like. Everything about uh, this college wrestling stuff, it's really just everything I'm gonna miss about it. Um, and you know, whatever I'm thinking about doing in the future, I mean, I'm just glad I got this opportunity to be with such a great group of guys and couldn't be more thankful.